I know that some natural hair content creators do not want to share their secrets with you, but I am not one of those people. I am here to share my secret with you guys. Hello guys, my name is Angela of Afrolite and I am the one you should listen to when it comes to growing healthy long natural hair. In today's video, I'm going to be spilling the tea. I'm going to be telling you the products that I use and the things that I do to my hair to make sure my hair grows long. I know that some natural hair content creators do not want to share their secrets with you, but I am not one of those people. I am here to share my secret with you guys, specifically my secret product with you guys, because in 2023, we are growing our hair as healthy and as long as possible. So, to the number one secret product that I use to grow my hair, drum rolls, please. I use dish soap to wash my hair. Yes, dish soap is the secret product that I've been using for my hair. I've been using it to clean my hair most times. And if you ask me to choose between the most expensive shampoo in the world and a regular dish soap, trust me, I'm going to choose the dish soap over the expensive shampoo because most of those shampoos are just expensive for nothing like they don't have they don't add any value to your hair so why not just use a regular dish soap to wash your hair like it makes sense right you're going to be saving money and the dish soap is basically going to be a multiple pose item in your house like use it to wash your plates and then use it to wash your hair like it just makes sense right wrong it doesn't make any sense if you believed me up to this point, if you believe that I was doing this soap to wash my hair, honestly, you need to reevaluate your. I don't even know, but you need to reevaluate yourself. Like, if you are on the verge of using your dish soap to wash your hair or ordering a new dish soap to use as your shampoo, nah, nah, you need to reevaluate how you consume information online, especially when it comes to natural hair. Because one thing I have noticed is that people bring out the craziest of hair growth secret products and you believe them. <laughs> you believe them without even doing research on those products. And that is why you keep on wasting money upon money buying this product here, buying this product there. Because you think that that magical product will help you grow your hair instantly. It does not work that way. And the funny thing is that brands and individuals are capitalizing on our quest to grow long hair. They are capitalizing on the fact that a lot of black women want to grow their hair long at all costs. So they know you are desperate. They know you are desperate for a remedy. And that desperation has created a market for them where they feel like they can come out with any product and you would buy. But if you are among those people that did not believe I was using this soap on my hair and you were giving me the side eye, thumbs up, thumbs up to you because we are in 2023 and we should not be falling for those types of tricks anymore. As a reward for giving me the side eye, I am going to share all of the things that I do to my hair weekly, how I wash my hair, the products that I use to wash my hair and the products that I use in my weekly maintenance. Don't worry, this, this time around I'm being serious. I'm also going to explain the things that you should look out for, the good qualities of products that you should look out for when you decide to buy new products. I'm going to share all of that with you. The first thing that I do to my hair weekly to promote hair growth is to wash my hair. And if you're one of those people that believe that dirty hair grows, it's a lie. Like, it's a lie. A dirty hair does not in any way, shape or form promote hair growth. Let's just go into my wash day and I'll show you the products that I use, the things that I look out for in products and how I wash my hair in general to promote hair growth. I am so happy to show you the products that I use and my ideology behind choosing some of the products that I use. Currently, I have two shampoos. Most times, I have two shampoos. I go for one that is really cleansing. This one you are seeing right here is a very deep cleansing shampoo from Shine Organics. And then I also go with a mild shampoo. So I interchange between both shampoos. There are multiple factors that would determine the particular shampoo I use in my wash day, such as the product that I use in my hair, if I use um, lots of oil or butters or gel, and also another thing that determines the shampoo that I'll use, the time frame between my last wash day and the current one. So if I wash my hair within a week, I'll just go for my regular shampoo. But if it has been a while that I washed my hair, then I'll go for a deep cleansing shampoo. The reason why I went for a deep cleansing shampoo in this wash day is because I have had my twist in for a while. Although I've been washing my hair while I had my twist, 
but i just realized that because i've been washing my hair in twist like i do not really get into some places with my hair and my hair tends to want to hold on to product even when i am washing my hair so in this wash day i decided to go with a deep cleansing shampoo the mindset i have when i am choosing some of my products especially my shampoo now because we are particularly talking about um shampoos it is how it makes my hair feel after washing my hair so there are some products you will use they will tell you those products are deep cleansing they will clean your hair da, 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 da. and then when you buy that product you realize that the product is not as deep cleansing as it was advertised to be another thing that could be you know affecting the efficacy of your deep cleansing shampoo in coat it is how you use products on your hair some people are very heavy-handed with product i was one of those people who would use tons of oil and tons of butter on my hair so if you're heavy-handed with products and the product that you're the shampoo that you're using was not created in mind with people who are heavy-handed then that shampoo will not be deep cleansing for you also do not be afraid to use shampoos with sulfate sulfate are not your enemy they are not the enemy to your hair growth okay now next is um the conditioning process most times i use a deep conditioner i am a deep conditioner girl and also when it comes to choosing my products i like to use um same i like to use um shampoo conditioner oil and the rest from the same brand i am that type of person that likes to buy the sets of products from a brand because i feel like those products are made for each other they are compatible with each other and it's just easier for me to use the um, various products from the same brand so in this um wash i'm using my leave <laughs> sorry <laughs> i wanted to say leave-in i'm using my rinse out conditioner and it did its work it did its job perfectly my hair felt really soft very conditioned one of the mistakes i was making initially when i returned natural that was like six years ago i came online and i saw people using they would use a leave-in conditioner after that they rinse it out and then use a deep conditioner like we were just doing so much and now i realize that all of that wasn't necessary i think what that was building was product junkies like people who felt that um people who felt that they needed tons of product or they needed multiple steps in their wash day or in their hair care to show that they're actually doing something to their hair for me i just rely on my shampoo to cleanse my hair then i go with my conditioner and that is it after washing my hair one thing that i focus on to promote hair growth throughout the week is to ensure that my hair is super moisturized because we all know that dry hair breaks so i try as much as possible to moisturize my hair keep my hair moisturized and to also prevent my hair from tangles as much as possible if you've been watching me for a while you will know i'm a simple girl i'm a very simple person when it comes to my hair care so most times after shampooing my hair i just go for a very simple protective hairstyle and it is usually two strand twist <laughs> usually two strand twist for me i use just um, my leave-in conditioner to put my hair in chunky twists that i can easily access my hair throughout the week or sometimes i'll put my hair in a low bun and allow my hair to stay in a low bun for maybe four to five days after which i will then take down my hair and go ahead to moisturize my hair just apply a little bit of water to my hair but recently i've been using clove water on my hair but not all the time just maybe once a week or twice twice in a week but most times it is once in a week i apply the clove water on my hair to re-moisturize my hair then i use this growth oil from shiny organics and that is all that is all the products i use on my hair something that i want to point out is that re-moisturizing your hair this way will not give your hair the optimal moisture that it needs i think for me re-moisturizing my hair this way is just to um you know keep my hair alive and keep my hair moisturized until my wash day like maybe three or four days to my wash day i can do this because i know that i'm going to wash my hair later and that washing my hair the process of washing my hair is what is going to give me the ultimate moisture that my hair needs so if you're one of those people who will keep on pushing wash day simply because you're re-moisturizing my 
<laughs> my hair. I wanted to say my hair. Simply because you are moisturizing your hair. This I want to tell you the news, although it's a bad news. That moisture is not going to get to the core of your hair, right? It's going to keep your hair moisturized for a while, for a little while, and then your hair will be dry again. And if you keep on prolonging your wash, you keep on moisturizing your hair on the surface level, at the end of the day, your hair is going to be dry. Because what a lot of people do when they moisturize their hair, just like me, after you apply water, you apply your hair oil or your leave-in conditioner or your hair butter, right? And that is a layer that coats your hair to slow down your hair from losing moisture. So if you keep on doing that over and over and over again, you're going to get a thicker layer of oil over your hair. And it will get to a point that that water, the water you are applying on your hair before you oil or butter, is not going to penetrate your hair strands. And it just it's just better, honestly, to just wash your hair. Just wash your hair after a while, like two weeks at most, just to wash your hair. But for me personally, I like to wash my hair weekly. Like it's just the perfect amount of time for me to wash my hair. My hair is high porosity. I use oils on my hair. I style my hair. Well, not frequently, but like sometimes I style my hair. So it's just better for me to wash my hair. And it's better for you also to wash your hair. It is better to be safe than to be sorry. You get like you shouldn't push it too much. Because when you push it too much, your hair will get to its breaking point. And at that point, your remoisturizing will not do anything because your hair has gotten to its driest level ever. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you learned a thing or two. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!